All right, guys, here we have today a 2002 Volkswagen Golf hatchback five door non GTI. This procedure may actually apply to other cars of the same manufacturer. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this will apply to some of the Jetta's Passats and maybe perhaps the GTI. I could be wrong. Uh, today we have a fuel pump failure, uh, just failing to provide fuel to the engine. Therefore, the car will not start. So we're going to go ahead and try to remove all the components. I already took the head start to remove the three bolts, three fasteners to uncover this plate. Apparently somebody tried to work with this and I'm going to go ahead and pick it up where, we left, where he left off. This is the harness to provide electricity to it. These connectors are quite interesting. Uh, they are in there, very good, very on tight. I will go ahead and remove the two hoses and see what we have in there. Just as a word of caution, guys, if you have garbage here, any contaminants that can fall inside of the gas tank when you are removing, please make sure that you vacuum that out or take a wet rag and pick it up so it doesn't get into the engine compartment when it's operating again. All right, these hoses are quite interesting. If you see the left side of my pliers here, I'm squeezing into the tab and then basically wiggle And it pulls out. This one, however, was already broken. So that kind of takes the second part of it. However, this part right here has to come off. So when the new one is installed, we have actually a place where we can actually insert it. This ring right here, it's on very tight. It's on it. Uh, it cannot be taken out by hand. However, you can use the screwdriver and hammer method that I'm going to apply here in this method. Basically here and you basically make it act like a chisel. All right, we're gonna start by removing the oil pump. It's gonna start dripping gas all over it. And have something like a bag or something of the nature where the gas doesn't drip all over the car, absorbs it, and you have to dry it with the heavy fumes of the gasoline. And have something like this to just slip it in. Or if you want, just let it drip in there and then move it aside to its new home, recycle lamp. So this is the new replacement pump. This floater right here will have a bag. Basically this is the guy that tells your dash how much fuel you have in the tank. Uh, so if it's bottom out, you are going to have little gas on the dash. If it goes up, of course it's going to flow higher and the dash will indicate that you have a tank full of gas. The old original pump will have a rubber gasket so just place it in there and just start by putting the new one in and just in case you happen to be in a car where it needs to uh, be clean or anything like that make sure that the debris just does not go in keep your windows closed and make sure that no contaminants are actually The old pump had a rubber gasket. Basically, that one needs to come off and this one needs to be inserted in the new pump.
be careful with the hose. Do not force it in, just work with it. Do not jam it down, do not force it down. You have two of them, one here and one here. It's been difficult. Just gonna get this out of the way. The ceiling may actually not seat well, so just inspect it to make sure it's seated well before you press down. I'm in good shape here. All in. Okay. We had a problem with this connector where it was just not coming out. Squeeze and pull out. You may actually need a secondary set of pliers or a screwdriver just to wedge it out as soon as you squeeze the clip in. Let me get a set of pliers to get that little broken plastic insert out of its hose. All right, let's get this guy out of here. It's not really cooperating. Right. And for those that are looking into this video, we forgot the ring. So let's go ahead and take the ring out as soon as I find it.
tighten it by hand as much as you can and then use the plier method with the hammer to make sure it's nice and secure in its new home. Just be careful when you're tightening, tightening this uh, unit down. This right here can be sharp and I already got cut. So just be careful with it. If you hear any noises, it's just again, the unit sitting down the way it's supposed to be. Verify our work soon. I am not going to put the cover in yet because I'm looking for leaks. I am going to turn it on. I'm going to look for leaks to make sure that we do not have any gasoline spewing out of here or flooding or anything of the sort. So let's take a look at it. All right, no leaks. We're gonna tighten it down a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Cover it up. Call it a day. This one is a win. All right, three bolts. We're gonna put everything back and for those that actually are looking how to put everything together or how it came out I am going to put everything back Folds locks Folds and lock I'm gonna clean this car up soon guys, it's just for those that are wondering how this comes off There's a lever right here And as you can see it flips out and it folds out All right. We are all done 